students today we're going to see about introduction to java java is a simple and powerful object oriented programming language and this is similar to c++ in many aspects java is a general purpose computer programming language that is concurrent fast based and object oriented it was originated in sun microsystem in 1991 and it was put forth by james gosling now we can see about the characteristics of Java. Java is simple, it is object oriented, distributed, portable, multi threaded, and dynamic. The features. The features of Java include the code reusability, that is, the reusability of code, emphasis on data rather than procedure. Data is hidden and cannot be accessed by external functions. Objects can communicate with each other through functions. New data and functions can be easily added. So what is the key goal of Java? The key goal of Java is write once and run anywhere. That is, is to be able to write a program that will run on a great variety of computer systems and computer control devices. So that's what we call this as write once and run anywhere. Anatomy. Anatomy of Java programming include the comments, keywords, modifiers, statements, blocks, classes and methods. The first one is the comments. In order to comment a line, we have to use two forward slashes so that the line is commented. In case if you want to comment multiple number of lines, that is a block of code, then you have to use a forward slash followed by an asterisk. The keywords. The keywords are the reserved words that have a specific meaning to the compiler and it cannot be used as normal variables. And they cannot be used for other purposes in the program. For example, you have a cloys, class, void, etc. Modifiers. Java uses certain reserved words called modifiers that specify the properties of the data, methods and classes and how they can be used. Example, public and static. Are the modifiers are private, final, abstract, and protected. A private data member cannot be accessed by other program. Statements. A statement represents an action or a sequence of action. If you open a curly bracket after the class, then by default, you have to close it. Now you're going to see about the blocks. A pair of brackets in a program forms a block that groups components of the program. And now it's class. A class is a group of objects that has common properties. It is a template or blueprint from which objects are created. A class in Java contains data member, method, constructor, block, and interface. And now it is a syntax to create a class. First you have the identifier or the keyword as class followed by the class name. Then you open a curly bracket followed by data members and methods and then close the curly bracket.